All right, my friend Walter and I have been working on the circuit. Um, 120 volts in. Here's a there's a five volt uh, DC power supply, and that supplies power to the as an AT Tiny 85. There's a 16 megahertz crystal, a couple of capacitors, um, yeah, yeah, and it's rolling. So basically, if you apply voltage here, um, it will send uh, the data and uh, five volts to here as well as the 120 volts going through. There's a, um, a Whirlpool motor controller and uh, and then I'll start turning the motor as you can see it's it's turning now and uh, we programmed it to agitate one direction and then spin the other direction so that's what it's doing right now. And this is what we used to decode the uh, the information from the microprocessor or the uh, motor control uh, microprocessor here comes out here. Put this data analyzer on it, and that goes to the computer the USB. And these are the types of waveforms that that uh, you'll find as you know data. And what we did is basically uh, painstakingly decoded this information and then um, created a software uh, in the Arduino IDE to upload this information uh, to the AT Tiny 85 and I'll show you the code there. And this is the Arduino code and these are the what we did is um, created a pulse width there's different size pulse widths so this is uh, 820 microseconds and we multiply it by X amount depending on the size of the pulse width so um, I'm not going to get into how I did all this but basically um, there were certain patterns and we uploaded those patterns into arrays and um, let's see yeah, these are all just, uh, here's the, the main code down here. Yeah, it's pretty basic stuff. Down here at the bottom, you can see where it says, um, uh, down here, sketch uses blah, blah, blah. So 26%, and global variables use 80% of dynamic memory, and it gives a warning uh, about low memory. Actually, when we first did our, when we did the first sketch, it was uh, over 90%. So we had to trim that down. Uh, on the uh, standard um, Arduino Uno chip, which is the AT Mega um, 328P-PU, it has a lot more memory, so it can handle that memory. But when we did it, it it just failed. It wouldn't it wouldn't turn the motor, and um, but it would with the uh, the other one. So I knew I had to do something with the memory. And so what we did was I, I actually saw that these characters here always repeated. So word H, I just put, uh, you know, instead of having all of these here and here and here and here, I, I drew up a, uh, a function to just write it in any time one word is called up. Um, then it just automatically prints that, and that saved uh, about... 17% of uh, space. So that's it in a nutshell. I'm going to turn this back on. You can see it's turning, it's working. It's a good motor tester. You can bypass the control board and all the other door switch and lock and all the other functions just to test the motor and the motor control board on a Whirlpool washer with this uh, circuit.